All right, everybody. In this video, we're going to create a very simple calculator program. The reason that I'm making this program is just for us to get some practice using if statements. Let's begin. We will ask a user for an operator. Will this be addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division? Operator equals input. Enter an operator. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. Then we will have a user type in two numbers. Num1 equals input. Enter the first number. We will typecast our input as a floating point number. Then with num2, we can just copy this, paste it, change num1 to num2, enter the second number. Then we can use an if statement. If our operator is equal to the plus symbol, then we will add these two numbers together. Result equals num1 plus num2. Else if our operator is equal to subtraction, we will take our result equals num1 minus num2. Else if the operator is multiplication, we will multiply num1 times num2. Else if our operator is equal to division, then divide num1 by num2. Else the user must not have typed in a valid operator. Let's display a message to them. I'll use an F string. Operator is not a valid operator. So where should we display the result? Let's do so within each if statement. Print result, but I'm going to round our result to maybe three decimal places. We'll copy the print statement and paste it within each of these if and else if statements. Except the else statement because we don't want to perform any calculations if the operator is invalid. Okay, let's try this. Enter an operator, let's do plus. What is three plus 3.14? That is 6.14. Let's do subtraction. Three minus 3.14 is negative 0 0.14. Multiplication. 3 times 3.14 is 9.42. Enter an operator, division, first number, 3, divided by 3.14, that is 0 0.955. Then let's pick an operator that's not valid, uh, like the word pizza. We still have to type in a number though, unfortunately. 3.14, pizza is not a valid operator. Well, okay then everybody, that's just a simple calculator program, more or less just for practice. All we did is just perform an arithmetic operation on two numbers, then display a result. Maybe later on in the series, we'll make something more complex. But yeah, that is a simple calculator program in Python.